What's up, guys? Cheap Survival back at you again here. And today, got my EDC update for, uh, what is this? March? Yeah, March. Um, this is what I carry day to day. Uh, usually carry a lot more in my truck. I'll have to do a video on that some other time. But this is what I carry in my pockets. And then I usually have that on me. But, uh, got a little simple black bandana here. I uh, usually carry some kind of like Altoids, uh, Tic Tacs, something of that sort, gum. I uh, got a little change container here. My brother gave me that a long time ago, and as you can see, it's been beaten. It used to actually be covered in like a leathery material. Leather, probably. But that wore off completely. This represents my cell phone, which I'm currently filming with. Um, this is my little... Uh, you know, right in the rain book. Uh, I just keep it in here. I've been using it a lot more lately. Uh, and I have, uh, let's go to the wallet. Of course, y'all know what a wallet is for. Uh, I don't have the survival card anymore, so it's not in there anymore. Just seen one of my other videos, but this is uh, my knife. One of my knives, anyway. Pretty much the only pocket knife I've been carrying in the last couple months. Well, uh, really this year, I really haven't changed pocket knives because I really haven't gotten any new that are interesting. Uh, but hold on, one sec. Almost forgot to add the Tom Shitwood in here. I don't have anything on it right now because uh, gotta clean the rust off still. Got some great suggestions on how to do that, but uh. Recently picked up a Zippo. Always wanted one of these. Um, I had looked up what was the best lighter to carry, and uh, some reviews and stuff. And I almost said Bix, so I went with the Big for the longest time. But uh, I just like a Zippo. They're, I like them; they're awesome. Um, if you want to try something, don't go with just reviews. Get it and try it yourself, because reviews. That's other people's opinions, so I went with the reviews and didn't get a Zippo for a long time. So now I have a Zippo, and I love it. Way better than the Bic. Besides, you get a nervous tick, you get to play with it. I can't count how many times I'm, I just do this. It's fun. But, as I showed the Tom Chit with that Flint and Steel survival uh, sent me... If you guys don't know Chan Chitwood, you should check him out. Awesome blades. I'll try to remember who the link down in the description, but uh, I tend to forget. Because uh, hectic upload of my videos. But I carry the Leatherman Wave on me. And uh, the crappy... Um, and a crappy leather pouch. I, I've only had this thing since October. That's what... I got it near the end of October, so let's just go in this... December, <laughs> November, December, January, February, and now March. Less than five months, and this thing's complete trash. And all it does is stay on my side. You know, for what you Leatherman charges you for these things, they should at least have a decent sheet. Because this thing is complete and total trash. It, I don't like it at all. The leather just fades this thing fell off after a while of opening it. I mean, good lord. I suppose this would be fine if you, like, never really used it. But this thing's literally just been on my belt. That's it. This has been on my belt for... Now, I haven't carried it the whole time, either. But this... Yeah. Less than five months, and this sheath is, like, completely destroyed. It's only a matter of time until this rips out, and I can't even buckle it, and then just be garbage. I can't believe for what they sell these for, these things retail at what, like ninety to one hundred dollars, uh, depending on the store, like eighty to one hundred dollars, I'm gonna say, and they include this really shitty sheath. I'm not even kidding. This is ridiculous. It's for as much as they charge for these. The tool itself is amazing. I love it. I use it every day. Quality on this thing is very good quality. 
different blades. I love it. The only thing that's happened was I was sawing and it uh, bent right there a little bit. It really doesn't affect it much, but uh, it's not a smooth closing. That's about it. But this, this is good quality. This is complete and total crap. I can't believe they'd sell with that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. They should at least include a quality sheath. I have nylon sheaths. Oh, like, let me show you. Okay, I'm back. This is a little shear filled, chip filled, whatever you call them, multi tool. Now, this was in my EDC for a long time. I'm talking like a, probably a year. And this is the only problem with the sheath. There's a little mesh. This crap was getting all messed up, so I tilted it off. See the difference? The button is still on here. Used it every day. It's been dinged up a bit. It's been beaten up, all beaten up. I'll admit that. But it is still in relatively good condition. This thing, wow. Unbelievable crap. But it's my only problem with the Leatherman. Love the Leatherman itself. Sheath complete and total garbage. I want to get like a Kydex one made. But uh, I don't really know anybody that makes the Kydex sheath. I only know of Gear Nut, but every time I email him, he never answers me back, so I've given up on that. Uh, Phoenix LD22. Amazing flashlight. As you can tell, it's in my pocket every day. Very good flashlight. Hardcore hardware. Tactical pin. Uh, I'm out of the, car the uh, cartridges. I gotta order some more. The Fisher Space Pin ones, but still keep it on me. And then uh, my Mora Helderis. As you can see, I got a compass on there, paracord handle, and then this awesome uh, lock, the secondary locking mechanism, leather strap here. This was made by Snow Fog Outdoors. I will we'll put her link down in the description. Awesome leather work she does. That's another thing with these. These things are way more pricier than a regular Mora for a lot less knife. But uh, I got to do a full review on that. But uh, I don't like how much they charge for theirs. They wanted $25 for the kit that just included this strap, um, a little piece of lanyard, and a little thing that said Mora with the ferro rod. Uh, there was no way. Uh, that's why I contacted Snowfog on getting that done. I moved to my keys. I've had this forever. A little small ferro rod in here. Uh, just kept it on there. And then this is a new edition. And here, keep it like this. I don't ever have to worry about it falling out because it ain't coming out. It takes me effort to get it out. I keep uh, some striking more matches. A little fishing kit. Come on. <sighs> Doesn't like to come out. A little fishing kit, some striking worm matches, a wa half a wax cotton round, and a ferro rod in here. So that's what I keep in there. And that is it. But, uh, yeah. If you guys got any other. Oh, wait, never mind. Maxpedition pouch. I got this from a guy named Tactical Bruce. I'll try to remember to link him down in the description, too. I got some uh, compressed towels in here, some blood glucose tablets, those raise your blood sugar in an emergency, uh, Leatherman Wave, wait, no, Wingman, Wingman, some chapstick, a Bic lighter, a little bit of paracord. Back here, there's a little writing booklet. In here, there's a few little band aids and stuff, some zip ties. Over here, we have the Bear Girls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. I usually keep some. Uh, Clippers in here too, but I need to get some more. That is pretty much it in that. Oh, uh, that's it. Um, you guys got any questions? Let me know. Uh, this has been Cheap Survival. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over and out.